Hey there, IMD. Uh, as I already mentioned before, uh, on Halloween I went to the theaters to, uh, well, see three horror movies in a ro in a row. Now, how was my uh, night at the theaters? Well, before I start talking about the actual movies, uh, there are two uh, trailers that I saw that I wish to address right now. Uh, one of them was for a movie that. Well, I forgot the title, but it but it's, but it's directed by Peter Jackson, and based on a book. Seriously, does that guy even make any uh, original movies? I mean, he turned the three Lord of the Rings books into movies, remade King Kong, and now this one. <laughs> oh well. But the problem with that trailer is that it pretty much told the entire story. Uh, so why would I now want to see the movie? Well, maybe I'd read the book, but the movie, I don't think so. Uh, now, that's what I hate about trailers. They always show far too much, and if you know too much about the movie, then what's the point of watching it? And that is what made the other trailer uh, much better. A trailer for the movie Inception. All it did was show a few computer-generated buildings and... Uh, and two uh, men in a hallway, somehow floating, bouncing, uh, I'm not sure what was going on. And the tagline in this movie is, Your mind is the scene of crime. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to make out of this, but, but somehow this one deals with the human mind. So, altogether it does sound interesting, and I actually want to see this movie. Even more so, since, again according to the trailer, it is directed by Christopher Nolan, who, who's also known to have directed the movie Memento, which, in its own right, also dealt with the human mind. So, okay, the trailer was good, but the only complaint I have about this trailer... So, it says, uh, a film by Christopher Nolan, and in case you don't know who he is, it later mentions, director of... And a movie that was mentioned then, it should have been Memento, as it's more or less in the same league, but instead, it mentions the Dark Knight. <sighs> the point of a trailer is supposed to lure people to a theater, not scare them away. <laughs> it would have had, it would have worked so great if either didn't mention whatever movie the guy directed. I mean, if it says directed by Christopher Nolan, then you, as the viewer, think, oh, he must be well known. So you see the movie anyway, even if you don't know the guy. But it mentions. Uh, he's the guy who directed The Dark Knight, and that just fails on so many levels. Case 39, well, well, I can't really say much about it. Just uh, you have some woman who works for social services, who uh, whose job it is to uh, give uh, kids a safe home. Now. I don't want to spoil too much for you, but what I can say about this movie, one of the things that makes this movie interesting is that the the monster in this movie, if I should call it that, isn't exactly evil. It is just selfish. I mean, it wants things to go uh, its way, and if, uh, if people deny it that, then they will suffer the consequences. Which makes the ending of the movie also a bit... Well, selfish on the on the hero's part. I mean, rather than try and talk things out, despite of what the monster is doing to her. Well, you pretty much get the idea. Uh, but then again, it's horror, it's fiction. It's not supposed to be one hundred percent accurate. So, but anyway, altogether, it was interesting. It had quite a few good scares as well. I mean, it's been a while since I last saw. Uh, saw a movie that at least tried to scare you, a horror movie that at least tried to scare you, because, I mean, you c the hero uh, or heroine uh, could be sitting somewhere, suddenly finding out some great secret or some moment of quiet, then suddenly it has to be something stupid that's someone knocking, and uh, you as well as the heroine uh, are just <gasps> shook up. That or someone is just sitting right next to a window, nothing's going on, until a dog uh, st starts jumping on the window. You pretty much get the idea. So, it does have a few moments of scare, and... Okay, it was overall 
an okay movie. There's just one complaint I have, and that is that I find that Renee Zellweger just wasn't fit for the role. Uh, I mean, you could you could put anyone in the role, but Zellweger that just didn't work. Uh, uh, she, I'm not saying she's a bad actress, but the horror genre just doesn't seem to fit her. She, uh, you'd think she would have learned her lesson after appearing in the. Uh, in that one Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Apparently not. The story in this movie is you have a young couple who uh, who's, who's being haunted by some ghost or other and uh, but then uh, the guy of the couple buys a camera just to have some record of what's going on and so this movie is basically what that camera has been shooting. So yeah it's uh, bit Blair Witch-esque. One movie that I, uh, well, believe it or not, but it, when I saw the Blair Witch Project, I actually fell asleep. Well, whenever I have a bad case of insomnia, I'll, uh, I should watch that movie t uh, just so I could sleep. Makes me wonder why I don't o own a copy of that by now. But anyway, so this movie uh, is a bit in the same league. Now, if I have to point out all the bad points, the couple in question are among the dumbest uh, ever. I mean, so they're haunted by a ghost, they see a psychic, the psychic thinks the ghost is too powerful for him, so he uh, tells them to go see some other guy, and, and they do, or at least they try and contact that other guy, when it was already too late. <sighs> You know, they, they could have uh, called a guy from the very beginning and tried to sort the whole thing out, but for some reason they were always stalling. Why? Yeah, that's a legitimate question. Why? And that's not to mention that the guy of the couple is a bit of an asshole. I mean, uh, he wants to somehow... He wants to do something with this ghost. Uh, like... Okay, I'm not say, gonna say what, but... But he's told he shouldn't be doing it, but somehow finds his way into doing it anyway. So yeah, the couple is a bit stupid, the guy's an asshole. But if you gotta watch this movie for any reason at all, well, that would be for those moments uh, during the night when the ghost is actually haunting them. I mean, this movie was made with little to no budget at all, and somehow they managed, they managed to create some of the most convincing effects ever. I'm not gonna say what they are, but... Let's just say, if you gotta watch the movie just for one reason, those will be the reasons. So, uh, just to see those moments that they are being haunted. Oh boy. The first Saw movie was good. The second was better than the first. But after that, it should have just stopped. I mean, Saw was good. The... Maybe a sequel should or should not have been made, I don't really care, though the sequel turns out to be better than the first. <laughs> but anyway, then it should have just ended. We didn't need to see anything else. Unfortunately, for some reason they couldn't. They had to make a third, a fourth, a fifth, and now a sixth. And although whatever uh, whatever questions were raised uh, in the, the third, the fourth, and the fifth are now answered in the sixth, and it still just was plain unnecessary. Well, well, granted, some of the uh, some of the kills were quite inventive, and some of the effects as well. And I still think they could have just used those same ideas, but put them into an entirely different movie. So not a sequel, not a remake. Just make an original movie to uh, put those special death scenes in it. Well, on the other hand, I think Saw 6, if it were just for the deaths in the movie, or uh, for seeing how twisted they can get, eh, it was enjoyable in, in some shape or form. So if I really got to recommend uh, one of the three movies, it would be uh, Paranormal Activity. This was D. I'm signing off.